Justin and Christine Lucasavage here with Backcountry Treks. We're at the Opus Hut. Check that thing out. Um, we're out in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado, and we're going to be talking about this backpack here today by Tom Ben. This is called the Hero's Journey. Now, Tom Ben is not necessarily known for uh, technical bags, but they have created, in, in our opinion, a very spectacular backpack for hut trips for backpacking around Europe for things where um, we're going to get into the details to be able to to do modular things with the backpacks you're not backpacking with a huge waist belt it's not above your head it's not any of that stuff so let's turn around Christine before you take that off we're going to talk about the sternum strap which is removable um, you've got the waist belt which is removable we're going to take this off we're going to break it down for you we're going to show you what's in it and we're going to show you how to work this thing. This is going to be on the longer side of videos because there is a whole lot of stuff going on here um, with this bag. Now, Christine, you brought this in to the Opus Hut. You backpacked with gear in it. So first impressions, what did you like about it? Um, it was comfortable and um, it didn't feel overly bulky, which was really, really nice. And I didn't feel like I stuck out with a you know giant huge bag and it doesn't look like a backpacking backpack to me um, it's just a little bit bigger than like a school backpack you would take yeah and so we're gonna put a lot of the features we'll send you links to the website so you can get into the nitty-gritty but we're gonna talk about usability what we've been doing how we plan to use it so first and foremost you wore it into the hut like this we've got the three kids with us so we backpacked into the hut it's a really short um, backpack into this hut and at the Opus Hut we stayed here and we backpacked around all of these incredibly gorgeous mountains. Um, let's take this apart and show them how we used it yesterday. So to take this apart the top of this zips off. So if you're traveling around Europe or you've got all of your stuff together you want one single bag the top of this zips off to where you've got a nice pouch you've got um, we'll show you some details on this but You've, you can wear it as a shoulder bag. You can do any number of things on it. And so, in fact, let's just do that now. So take this off. I've got the, the accessories. This comes with a lot of accessories, so be ready. Accessory pouch. So, you know, if you end up in, say, Italy, let me get the right one here. We've got a shoulder strap. So you've got the shoulder strap where you can take the, the day pack off of the hero's journey and convert it into a little day pack so you can go around Europe and you know it's a fashionable man bag if I was wearing it is that what I'd call it sure okay so it's a man bag so you can do that um, here's the cool thing about this is it'll fit a little laptop so if you're going on an airplane you've got the single bag right and so but here our rule is we like to go pretty much anywhere in the world with nothing that is bigger than can fit under the seat in front of you. I don't like checking bags. I don't like to have to do any of that stuff. So we've got one bag, fits in the seat in front of us, but I can get on the airplane, take this part off, put this under the seat, put this up uh, in the overhead compartment, and I might have camera gear or something like that in it. Kids stuff, you know, things like that. So let's take the shoulder strap off, and before we do anything else with that, this converts into a really um, a really cool duffel bag. I'm not going to do it all the way, but just a um, really easy to use little buckle strap there. And I can tuck this in to the back panel of this. In fact, all of this will go in. And then I would zip it up. So I put all of that in there, I would zip it up. And then on this side, again, once you buckle that onto there, we'll convert it into a little duffel bag. So same thing there, I'd have that all clipped in. And as I mentioned earlier, these waist uh, straps come off. So very everything is very modular and so very, very easy to use. We've got carrying straps, we've got pull straps, we've got that on basically everywhere you would want them to be. So let's talk about how we used this yesterday. Yesterday we ended up on a little bit of uh, an epic. Yes. There was some whining involved that may or may not have been from the kids and from <laughs> us. Um, but we broke this down and carried two different bags. And the reason that we did that is because 
you can't see behind the camera here, but we did uh, probably 1,500 to 2,000 feet of vertical um, over some really nasty scree um, up into this incredible blue and purple lake. I never thought I would say I saw a purple lake, but the it's lake pretty. is incredible. And here's how we wore this. All right, let me take this back off and convert it. Why don't you talk about how we did this while I do that? Sure. So this not only can become a shoulder bag or a man bag, as Justin said, but um, it, it converts into a backpack. So this is what we carried in there yeah, the other day. Water, some extra gloves, hot chocolate, and a little tracking device. But here's how you make it into a backpack. You turn it inside out. And in here you can see permanently attached in here are backpack straps. So this is what the backpack looks like. Easily fits everything you could need. So if you don't want to wear in it here, as like a shoulder bag. Yep, you can convert it to a backpack. Or carry it like a briefcase. You can wear a little backpack. Um, which is also, you know, you can wear this around Europe and not stand out like a backpacker. You know, you can go into the nice places. Um, with the shoulders bag, with the backpack. You can put water in here. You've got a clip to clip your water onto. Um, There's also smaller compartments inside that you can unzip and put chapstick or various other like little snacky things that you don't want to get lost in there. Yeah, so you can organize all of that stuff. So it makes it really, really easy to do. Um, before I go deeper and forget, so we talked about um, the shoulder strap there. There's a ton of stuff that just comes standard with all of these things, including um, pull ties for the zippers. You've got two bags of that. You have, if you want a little waist strap that goes around for the backpack, you can do that. Um, you've got compression straps. You've got a little um, hand carry to be able to carry that again. Um, let's talk about how I carried this yesterday and what I have in it. It's really a big bag. Um, and, I, and it's comfortable. I need, to, I need to say that because I've carried technical bags up um, less technical stuff than we have out here. And it just killed me. We did eight miles yesterday. I have a decent amount of weight, probably 20 pounds. I'll show you exactly what I carried in here yesterday and, uh, and how I did that. So um, first of all, before I break into that, we've got compression straps on the sides of both of these things, or both of the sides. And I love how they did this because one of the compression straps is just on the outside of the zipper and then the top one is on the inside of it. I hate those bags that I carry where the top just flops over. You don't have that. The compression strap is up plenty high and it really pulls everything in. So it's not all floppy when it's, especially if it's not filled up. So let's, uh, let's see, the best way to do this is I'm gonna undo the compression strap so you can see what's inside here on both sides of this. And then I think maybe we'll put it down here, unzip it, and see what we got in it. So it unzips like this. So instead of a regular backpack where you're going to be top loading, the really nice thing about this is everything is right here. You have um, the famous Tom Bin packing cubes. You can order these. They come in a couple of different colors. It's also important to note that they sell a um, sleeping bag sack. So you've got that. There's a lot of different options where you can really fully customize this. You've got side pockets that you can put on if you wanted to do that. We have used these packing cubes for years by Tom Ben. And we're pretty minimalist. When we first got these, I thought, well, these are kind of stupid. I'm not really going to use them. They add weight and bulk. But what I love about them is it's really super easy to organize. And so I pretty much, unless I'm going super lightweight up a rock face or something, I take these packing cubes, car camping, international. Every time I always take them. And they come in various sizes too for different items. So you don't have to lose like underwear, socks, or like little stuff like that. There's, and they all work well, really, really well together. I just realized I'm standing in a pile of mud and I'm sinking. I'll be shorter than you by the end of this. Um, so we have two-way radios here. We're doing some photography, some longer distance stuff. We have a bottle of water. Um, yesterday for lunch, we had this ramen, so we had those. You know, I've got some summer sausage in here and I've, I have apples and a map and other apples. And we have a lot of bars of food in here. 
and a knife for cheese. Like we're 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 um, we're out here at this hut, so you know we've got things like beer and things handy like that, and and it's really really cool to do this kind of hut experience because we have all of that handy. We don't have to take tents and stuff like that. Where I would do a different backpack if I was doing, you know, something like a tent. We've got toilet paper because I've got four women out here with me and cups because we're making hot chocolate, sunscreen. Tom Ben came out with these first aid and second aid kits. And so we've got the first aid kit. We used it multiple times yesterday on our hike. You know, ibuprofen and Benadryl and athletic tape and tape to, to wrap plenty of band-aids because you know sometimes you're not even bleeding but a band-aid makes you feel better it's true um, especially the, when you're eight the second aid kit i thought it was a really good idea uh, they make a second aid kit and it's blue if you want to get a blue one and you can put extra things in that might help you or a buddy like an extra headlamp extra pair of lightweight you know gloves an energy bar you know things that you might forget but you can take this the second aid blue one and just throw it in your backpack I have a cook kit um, to make hot chocolate because hot chocolate is very important when you're on a trip like this, as well as ramen. Inside of it, I have some extra beef jerky. I have a headlamp. I have an, another thing of ramen. We've got a little mug that we can make some hot chocolate in, and I have a water purifier in here, a SteriPen. Um, they have a nice little organized pouch right here, so we can do forks and have lighter and matches and cough drops. Now inside of it, you have a solid back panel. And this is, this is fairly new for a bag like this. Um, if I might, I'm gonna call it a uh, technical duffel bag. Um, because it is a duffel bag. You can throw all your stuff in like this, but it compresses nice. You have a stay in the back of this, so it's a flexible stay. So you can bend that over your, your knee, really fit your back. Most people aren't going to do that. I have not, and it fits both of us very, very well. So you have the plastic back panel, and then you have the metal stay that just fits right along your spine and really pulls the bag and also prevents, you know, things like this from poking into you if you've got a water bottle or something like that. You have D-rings on the inside of this, so you can really clip these together even further and, um, and get some stability in the backpack. Now down below here, this might be a little tricky to see, but this unbuttons. There's four snaps in here. You can extend the bag further into the bottom of the backpack. I'm gonna show you what I have in there um, right now, in fact. I'm gonna hold that. In the bottom of this, this is almost like a traditional sleeping bag compartment um, in a backpack. We have a sleeping bag liner for the hut. I have another jacket that I think I'm gonna put on. It's a little bit chilly out here. We have fuel and a stove for the hot chocolate for the hot chocolate for the ramen for when your stereo pen runs out of batteries and you need to filter water i uh, love it out here because we can just dip this pan right into the stream or into the lake and boil it and the water is amazing we're not filtering it at all up here and we did that several times this hero's journey is really incredible um, it's going to be my favorite backpack in fact christine and i Maybe, maybe fighting over it. Um, I'm just gonna call it right now on video. Um, one Ooh, thing- that's not fair. Yep, it's recorded. <laughs> one thing that's really neat is that these zippers here, as you zip them together, you're gonna see that they have two little round bits. Round bits? Sure. Yep, that zip together and overlap, and you can throw a little lock in there. So if you want a secure bag, especially if you're traveling some shady places of the world, you can throw locks on the two main zippers. So on the sleeping bag compartment down below and on this big one, they'll both zip together and do that. This is, I, I know that we've covered a lot of the features, but I think that we're still missing a lot of them because this bag does so many things. Um, it's, it's on the more expensive sides of, of like a travel bag, I would say, especially if you're looking for a duffel bag. But because you have the flexibility that this offers in such a large bag, to do everything in one bag, to zip the main part off, to turn it into a backpack, to turn it into a shoulder bag, to turn that into an additional carry-on that's not counted as a carry-on when you get onto the airplane, really uh, makes the hero's journey worth that cost in my mind. 
and I think it's very justifiable. I've been a Tom Bin fan for many years, and this bag is amazing. So we're gonna pack all of this stuff up. We're gonna go enjoy the hunt a little bit more. Maybe they're gonna fire up the sauna before we leave, maybe. Um, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna enjoy this bag, um, and we're gonna take it around the world. We're gonna put it through the paces even more. So check back in with us. Feel free to comment below this, ask us questions. We'll have more information, obviously, as the years go by. This is The Hero Hero's Journey by Tom Ben, and I'm Justin, and this is Christine with Backcountry Treks.